Welcome to Hanging Out with Robert, that's me. This video contains things that I encounter throughout the day. If for some reason I complete a task and you would like to see the details, you can click on the link in the description area below. This video also contains tips and tricks that I learned throughout the years. I plan on leaving this video accessible for about 30 days. After that, you can view it through my Patreon account. Thank you very much for watching. Yes, folks, today is the day. Can't see how it wouldn't be. Got to tidy up some loose ends here with a little bit of wiring. Put the plugs in. Put a couple pieces on the inside. Pull this fuse panel back off. I put it on. I need to take the cruise control relay and cut a post off of it. And we should have this thing running here in a little while. So let me get started. I'm going to start off pulling this cruise relay cutting the post out of there and then we'll tidy up this engine compartment tidy up the inside putting everything back together put these wheels on torque these axles down and get some gas in it get some fresh gas in it because we siphoned all the gas out of it <laughs> a couple of months ago and hopefully this thing will fire right up broke that tab off the relay i'm gonna go ahead and put it back so and move on. Here. Got the cap on over the dust shield and the rotor. Getting ready to zip tie some of these wires to the transmission so they're out of the way of the shifter mechanism. We got the spark plug wires installed. Put a lot of dielectric grease around the boots of those where they contact the cylinder head. So hopefully they won't get stuck. Plugged in the purge valve. Getting ready to secure this fan to the front clip on the vehicle here I went inside to check a few things make sure the clutch was bled which it was and I got a couple things to put together in here uh, I seen that the heater core was replaced a few years ago so I got to connect this steering column try to get this boot <laughs> clip back in here properly which is always a challenge and put the stuff back in to secure under this dash because everything is together under here except for this steering knuckle usually somewhat of a struggle getting this boot back on here properly and this is a two-piece boot this ring goes on the inside this boot goes on the inside so what I would do is take this off fold the boot up like that I have that inner boot down against the frame of the car on the inside of the car not the outside of the car now I'm gonna put this ring over there and lock that boot on that lip of the car and then I'm gonna fold this boot down over this lip and then the metal sleeve is just about perfect on the neck of that steering rack bearing. Have that metal ring over the boot and it's holding down the floor insulation, carpeted under padding stuff. And now I'm just gonna flip this over on it and that's it. You're all done. Now I'm gonna hook this neck up to my steering rack. Got that plastic piece on the side of the heater core. Got the carpet tucked away. Got the floor carpet tucked away. Got the foot rested. Now I'm gonna put this lower panel in. I got this trim in along here. The trim in going up there and down on the back on the floor. And I'll be done in here when I get this panel up here. And it's got broken supports on it. One, two, all three of the supports on that are busted. Should be epoxy. Here we go, folks. Got the floor cleaned up. The interior is done. Let's set the carpets in there. Then we got to put together the stuff in the engine bay. And... I found out that we have a fresh air intake and not that box and the fresh air intake has a 
intake tube for the 2.75 inch intake tube and we need one for a math that's three inch so we're going to have to do something about that and order that intake tube from one place or another so we can get this car running we don't want to put nothing on the car and start tuning the car to something that's not going to be the final equipment so we need that three inch elbow to hook up the 960 mass airflow sensor back from lunch slash dinner time to put the rest of this car back together well my memory failed me and this vehicle has a fresh air box so this tcv has to mount to it however the holes are not lined up they're about a half hole off spread out too wide so I'm getting ready to open up those holes just a little bit with this drill bit and hopefully that will be enough to make those screws fall through there so I can secure this turbo control valve to this fresh air box. Get that screwed on there but it's a little harder to put everything on before you need it. Put it down there. Got the OTE pipe on. Getting ready to put the throttle body pipe on. This pipe was kind of touching that area down there on the top of the fan trot. So we trimmed a little bit on the top of that fan trot off so it wouldn't be touching that hose. Can we put the throttle body tube on? that goes down from the bottom of the inner core up to the throttle body and over this outer air valve. Then we're gonna look for the axle nuts and put the axle nuts on. And then we get this tube in the world, we'll be all done. Okay, people, I wanna tell you guys this. I'm trying to save and spare your back. When you're torquing things, that are like your wheel lug nuts, your CV axle nuts, stuff like that, vehicle on the ground, whatnot is preferred. Make sure you push your torque wrench down. Don't pull up on there to break your torque. It's unnecessary stress on your back. So let me show you what I'm talking about here. Do 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 do. Put your torque wrench on there and push it down on it. Torque it like that. Don't torque pulling up. Spare yourself back pain, back stress. Especially you old people like me. Well, folks, it is back on the ground. Torque the axle bolts, torque the lug nuts. We got two things to do when we get back maybe three we're going to put the fuel filter in we're going to put the intake turbo piping on in the vacuum lines we should be ready to fire this thing up drop the battery in so we are down to the wire if we would have had that mass airflow sensor too we'd have fired this thing up and test drove it today but we didn't so we can't so Waiting on the part. They should be in tomorrow. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter, and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below, and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.